Uh, I'm Caitlin Farron. I'm a registered dietitian with Fairway. Um, and I was here probably six or seven months ago. I know it was storming outside, so it was definitely the winter time. Um, this is our intern, Becca. She wanted to see what this was all about today. So if you remember what we did last time, we had some different products and we kind of discussed their health benefits. Um, we discussed how to use them in recipes and then we sampled them all. And I think everyone had a good time with it last time. So we decided to do a similar deal again with um, the ever-changing items in the store. So just as a reminder, uh, Fairway doesn't tell me what items to talk about. They don't tell me what to say. Um, so this is all my professional opinion. Um, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask away. Um, and if you have any questions about things that aren't up here, feel free to ask away as well. So this is totally for you guys. Just a reminder of what we do at Fairway. Um, we do the Sensible Health Magazine, which you all have a copy of, or there's some more by the door. Uh, we do some different TV segments on the news, cooking deals, um, recipe development. We're always coming up with new recipes, either to put in the magazine, to put on our website, um, or for other arenas. Uh, community presentations and store tours and everything that we do is free of charge to our customers. So if you have a community event or something that you think we might um, be into, the best way to reach us is via email and the email is on the back of your magazines. Sensiblehealth at fairwaystores.com. Can everybody hear me okay? okay? Is the mic mainly for? It's with you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the first item I brought to talk about is kombucha so this is a trendy new deal um, this you can find in the produce section um, by the different fruits and vegetables in most of the stores and this essentially is a fermented tea so it's going to have that tang much like apple cider vinegar um, with that you're going to get some of the health benefits from that fermentation product process so some of those probiotics um, amino acids Amino acids I think of as building blocks or like Legos. They're what builds everything else in your body. There are nine essential amino acids. Kombucha has a few of them. Um, and those active enzymes. So if you're having some digestive issues, if you wanna keep everything moving, um, get those probiotic benefits, kombucha is a nice one to add in. It's a little expensive. Um, I believe these are $2.99 or $3.99, um, so a little pricey. I do not drink a full bottle. If I buy it, this bottle lasts me a good two or three days. Um, and I would say about four ounces, three to four ounces will get you those health benefits um, that, or the health claims that go along with kombucha. I've got the nutrition facts for one of, for the watermelon, and I have it to try. So if you're brave enough to try it, um, you have to go for it. Anyone tried it already? Thoughts? It's different. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> it's, it's always fun to watch people's face when they try it um, because it does have a little bit of that tang, but, but it's a nice, um, different drink once in a while. There are a lot of health claims, too, that go along with the kombucha. I haven't personally read any of the studies on it, um, but there are a lot of health claims that go along with it as well. The seafood I put up there just because uh, Fairway, we're known for our meat counter. Lots of people come in just to shop the meat counter. This is a new thing that we're doing. Um, fresh, not frozen seafood comes in once a week and the salmon, cod, and tilapia should be available. Um, these extras are kind of a once in a while, or if you see one up there that you really want, um, your meat counter should be able to get it in. Um, but the salmon, cod, and tilapia that you see in the meat counter is fresh. That said, I still go with the frozen a lot of times. Um, I like those bags of cod and tilapia that you find in the freezer section because if you're cooking for one or two, the individual fillets come in bags that are vacuum sealed so you can cook one or two fillets at a time. Um, but the fresh is now an option. And with that, we've come up with a lot of new seafood recipes. If you're looking for some new ones, our website, we've, we've put them all on there. Okay, 
and I knew I was testing my luck shopping on a Monday. Um, I shop in Ankeny and our store doesn't get trucked till Tuesday. This item was out, so I apologize. I don't have it to sample, um, but I replaced it with a couple other ones. This Good Culture Cottage Cheese, I am shocked that it took people as long as it did to um, package it this way. It's single serving cottage cheese, so you find it right by the yogurts. Um, so instead of grabbing a yogurt for a snack, you can grab a cottage cheese. A lot of them, we have several flavors. We have like the pineapple, strawberry, blueberry that do have some of that fruit and fruit preserve at the bottom. If you like that sweet and salty uh, mixture, we do have a plain also but you know awesome nutrition panel there you can see tons of protein exactly kind of what we want for a snack so um, if you're a yogurt person and want to try something new that's easy to carry um, these are awesome you can see the ingredients on there a very very clean ingredients also have you guys seen this one We do have also, and we just got an alert for it today, a new yogurt that's out. It's called YQ by YoPlay, um, and it's a higher protein. It's not a Greek yogurt, but it's a higher protein, kind of um, better ingredient panel to, to try too. I haven't even tried that one yet. Since I didn't have this one for you to sample, I decided to bring this Chobani drinkable yogurt. I don't know if you've seen this one. So this one reminds me of a Danables um, that you used to buy for kids. I don't know if they even still make it, but uh, for adults. So this is a drinkable Greek yogurt. So the same nutrition benefits as the Greek yogurt, a higher protein. Um, this one has 10 grams of protein in it. Gonna have those probiotics. This does have 15 grams of sugar. So a little bit higher than I'd like, but um, still just 150 calories for the bottle. So a nice option to grab and go. Is it a must have? No, just like the kombucha, is it a must have? No, but they're kind of nice add items to, to add in every so often. And they're delicious. The quinoa, I believe I talked about quinoa before. Um, it's something that nutritionists love to talk about. There's lots of talking points. It's a whole grain, it's high in protein, high in fiber. Um, the protein, like I said, with the amino acids in the kombucha, quinoa has all nine amino acids or all nine of those essential Legos to build everything else in your body. Um, so although I talked about it before, we've got a new, few new quinoa products that I wanted to show you. We have this Tiny Hero, and this is just a little bit easier to cook um, than the traditional quinoa. It's a little bit smaller, um, same health benefits, but just a little bit easier to cook. You do strain it. Um, and if you wanna add a little bit of flavor to it, I cook mine with a chicken stock or a chicken broth instead of water, just to add a little bit more flavor in there. And we also have these quinoa cups. So I, and I have not tried these, but I thought today's as good a day as any. These come with, so they're pre-cooked, so this would be like a quick lunch option. I would, although it has protein in it, I would still probably add uh, some leftover chicken or something just to bulk it up a little bit cooked quinoa and then it comes with flavor this is uh, pesto stir it together it comes with a microscopic spoon if you really want to this is good uh, portion or weight control <laughs> to eat with a little little baby spoon but um, an interesting new product that we've got so I thought we might as well try it quinoa to me when I'm cooking it it's not going to be a pasta replacement um, possibly a rice replacement, couscous kind of thing, but it's, it's to me not a pasta replacement. It's just a little completely different texture, but that's originally how it was kind of marketed. Okay, so we've got, we finally got riced cauliflower, and I don't know if you guys are big into um, or any of you are aware of like the Whole30 type diets, but this riced quinoa stuff, the, or excuse me, riced cauliflower, 
um, the cauliflower crust for pizza. It's insanely popular. So we do have it frozen. And if you've ever cut a cauliflower and made the rice, you know how big of a mess it is. Um, so we've got it packaged. We also carry it in these. I don't know if you've seen this line yet. These, um, Nora and Ashley, these are found up by the bagged lettuces. And they have a cauliflower rice that I cooked up. And I did add some soy sauce to make it more like rice. Um, they also have a zucchini noodle, which I cooked these up also. So we call them zoodles, zucchini noodles. And this is one of my favorite products for the summer because if you are looking for a pasta replacement, these are really light and refreshing. Um, of course, you can spiralize your own your zucchini, squash, if you've got a spiralizer. Um, you can do it that way. This is just one step done for you. A serving of pasta is gonna be about 200 calories. A, a serving of these are 20 calories. So plus you're getting all the fiber and the nutrients from the zucchini. Um, so a nice option. These, these are a little bigger spiral than I like. Um, if I do them myself, I can get a nice thin, almost like a spaghetti um, size noodle. These are a little bit thicker and the box will tell you that it only takes two minutes to cook. I mean, I let it cook at least 15 minutes just to kind of soften it up. Um, but these also come with a Italian seasoning packet, so that's what I put on there. If you wanted to do a marinara or something like that, they're really pretty good. So we've got the zucchini. We also have sweet potato and um, butternut squash in the, the pre-made noodles. I think there's beets too, but honestly, a zucchini noodle is a cell in itself. A beet noodle is, I, I don't know if I can, I don't know. I'm not quite there yet. Oh shoot, okay. And I did grab, I think the last time, did I also have some of those chopped salads? Does that sound, those dull chopped salads? I love those. Um, I still grab at least one a week, but I wanted to show you something else. Again, this was my first time trying it. Um, we're just getting a ton of these new salads, to-go salads in our produce sections. It seems to be what people want. Uh, they want that grab and go that they can take for lunch um, and not necessarily have to break down a bag of lettuce by them or at home to bring. So this is called a nourish bowl. Um, and these are kohlrabi noodles. So again, kind of that playing on that zoodle trend that we're seeing. Um, you do warm this up. So cook it for about four minutes, the noodles soften, and then it has a flavor packet. This one is spicy Thai. So I have that for you all to try if you like. These, I still like the cold salads, those chopped salads a little bit better. Um, but if you're looking for some new lunch options, these are out there. And then I have one more thing before we try some of these. And I apologize, I didn't bring it and it's not a food, um, but just as you're aware, it's kind of a health and wellness overall wellness deal. Um, we do carry some essential oils. I don't know if you've seen them or if there's any oil people in there. I'm not gonna pretend to be an expert, um, but we've talked to the vendors who bring these in. Oh, sorry, I, my picture went over the words there. Um, but they are an awesome product as far as 100% pure plant-based, um, they're quality assured. We got this whole long lecture from the vendor and I was impressed by them. Um, and I know in most places you'll spend, gosh, I don't know, 20 to $30 for an essential oil um, and ours are less than five. And they've assured us that they're quality wise, they are almost identical. So if it's something you're kind of interested in, wanna put some in a diffuser, don't wanna spend $30, we do have them at our store. Um, you can use them, like I said, in diffusers or humidifiers, bath, shower, air fresheners, add some water in a spray bottle. Um, 
If you're using it on your skin, you would need to use a carrier oil, which you could do coconut oil, um, almond oil, and just to dilute it and put it on your skin. Um, and then some people do the DIY stuff with them as well. So just an FYI, we've got them in our stores. Those are the health I guess it doesn't matter if you guys see the presentation as a whole. Um, those are the products that I wanted to share with you today. Do you guys have any questions on any of these items or other items that we might carry? Yeah. Where are the oils found in the So the oils um, are primarily in by the medicines okay. in that aisle. Um, which in most stores is also going to be the same aisle with the shampoos and conditioners. Okay, and we don't carry that one. Um, I've tried to make it myself. And have any of you tried? Okay, well, it doesn't help that my husband dislikes cauliflower big time. Um, but I just can't get it. It's, it's, it's tricky to get it crispy. Um, you really almost need to bake it, you know, you pat it out, you bake it, and almost then take a, a dish towel and, and really get it dry and bake it again. Um, I haven't had success with it, but I know, I mean, people are doing cauliflower crusts, all those different things. You know, one thing we did do, and we have the recipe on our website, is we did a buffalo cauliflower so it tasted, or it was the same effect as um, buffalo chicken. And that one turned out great. That one was left in bigger chunks, so you'd buy a, a head of it rather than the rice. But you guys are letting me off easy today. What about like um, rinsing your quinoa? I guess I've just read like, you use it great, but they almost scare you into like, make sure it's rinsed super well. And then it Yes. So um, you are supposed to rinse your quinoa because it, apparently it ha can have a bitter outer shell. I've never run into it. Um, and this one, I believe you don't need to do that. That's a step that you save. Um, and, you know, I've read even that you're supposed to kind of go like this and as you wash it. And like you said, you would lose half of it because it's just such little tiny pieces. Um, this one, you don't need to do that. And I've honestly never rinsed it and I've never had a weird taste to it, but. Yeah. Have you been able to find any good gluten-free like tortilla shells? We've searched all over and the ones that are in our local store are not good. Um, so the, what is the brand? They're corn-based, so which would be gluten-free. Um, Mission, has a Mission has a corn base. They it's they yes, they either crack or they're almost doughy tasting. And, and we do carry one brand. In my mind, I've got them at home too. Um, it's not Mission, but we do carry another corn-based gluten-free tortilla. But in my opinion, yeah, it's just not. It's not that soft flour tortilla that you want. Yep. You know, if the Fairway stores only carry certain brands or if they're able to get other ones in. Yeah, so each store is a little different, which makes our job a little tricky. Um, but the managers, so anything you see here, if you don't see it in your store, the manager does have the option of bringing it in through our, our central Fairway warehouse. Um, if it's just a, an item that you've seen at Hy-Vee or Walmart, um, definitely let your store manager know. And if you know, some store managers are really great and they'll work to, to really try to get that one in. If you don't hear anything or really think it's something you should see and don't, um, you can get in touch with us at the corporate office and we'll make sure it gets to the right buyer and try to, try to have multiple people asking for it so that it gets in there. But most of them are pretty good. I mean, they want to carry things that people want, so if there's something out there, let us know. 
All right, well, let's see if you guys wanna, who's brave enough to try the kombucha, um, these zucchini noodles, the chobani. So come on up and we'll, uh... oh, I do have one more item. Sorry, I forgot. I don't think I brought this last time. Did I bring the Fairlife milk? Okay. This is a normal cow's milk. Um, the only difference is it's ultra filtered. So I think of filtered milk, or when they filter milk, as they push the milk through a little tiny mesh screen, like a front porch screen door. Um, and this is ultra filtered, so it's a really fine mesh, and it's gonna remove a little bit of the sugar. So there's 50% less sugar. There's about twice as much protein, um, but it's still a cow's milk, still you know, a normal, normal milk. It is lactose free, so if you're lactose intolerant, this is a good one to try. Um, I'm a huge AE fan. I'm kind of a dairy snob. I really like AE milk and cottage cheese and that good culture cottage cheese and this Fairlife milk are, in my opinion, awesome, awesome items. So um, definitely have to give this one a try if you're a milk lover too. The reason I started buying this is we don't go through a ton of milk in our house. Um, and this, la because it's ultra filtered, it lasts a long time. Uh, the expiration date on this one is September 11th. So now once you open it, if it's half gone, I, I wouldn't take it out to September 11th, but a lot longer than milk, your traditional milk. So got this one to try too. And yeah, come on up and, and sample them and 